Data modeling is one of the features of Power BI that is used to connect multiple data sources in the BI tool using a relationship. A relationship defines how data sources are connected and can create interactive data visualizations on multiple data sources. With this feature, you can build your own custom calculations on the existing tables and these columns can be directly presented into Power BI visualizations. This allows businesses to define new metrics and perform custom calculations for those metrics. Let's see some objectives. We will create relationships between your data sources. We'll create new field with the calculated columns. We'll optimize the data by hiding fields and sorting visualizations data. We'll create a measure to perform calculations on your data. Use a calculated table to create a relationship between two tables and format time-based data so that you can drill down for more details. Hello, my name is Amin Khan and I am a Power BI developer, a project manager and a YouTube instructor. I will guide you through the rest of the process of data modeling in Power BI. But first, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so you can never miss any video by Code Gems. We we'll start with the strength of Power BI. One of Power BI's strength is that you don't need to flatten the data into a single table. Instead, you can use multiple tables from multiple sources and define the relationship between them. Also, you'll create your own custom calculations and assign new metrics to view specific segments of your data. Let's see our practical approach. To follow along with our practical approach, download the sample access data file from the link given in the description below and import it into the Power BI desktop. And if you have any issues loading the access database, please read the following link. I will provide the link in the description as well. From this link, you will have the better idea to how to load the access database in Power BI desktop. Let's import the data first. I will go to get data and way down to the more option. I will go to the database and from there I will select access database and will hit connect. This file is ready to import into the Power BI desktop. I will open it. Here you go. We have the tables available. I will select all of them and click load button. So you can see over here the data has been loaded into the field pane. We have three views available for our data sets. Number one is report view. Number second is the data view. You can see over here we have the available data. In the data view with the columns we have date and sales and products and manufacturers. So this is the beauty of Power BI that we do not have to flatten the data in only one table. We can have multiple table from the multiple resources and you can see over here we have millions of rows of data available in the Power BI desktop and this engine is so much powerful you can access the data and you can go around the final row of this data very, very quickly. The model view in Power BI Desktop allows you to visually set the relationship between the tables or elements. A relationship is where two or more tables are linked together because they contain related data. This enables users to run queries for related data across multiple tables. You will use the model view to see a diagrammatic view of your data. Let's move towards the model view of the data. In the model view, notice that a block each block represents each table and the lines between them represents a relationship. Adding and removing relationships is straightforward. To create a relationship, drag the field from here to the another table. I will create a relationship between the sales and the date table. So I will take over here and drag this one up so you can have the better understanding 
so to create the relationship I will drag this date field to the date field to the sales so you can see over here the relationship has been created and uh, if I want to remove it I just simply click over here the, the relationship and delete it hit the delete so here you can see I'm able to delete the relationship to hide a table or individual column from your report just right click the table or column in the model view and select hide in report view so the table in our visualization or analysis will not appear at all and if you want to hide the individual column just click the right just have the right click and hide in the report view so you can see over here it has this column has been hide if you want to use this I option so from here you can also hide and unhide the column or table in the model view for a more detailed view of your data relationships select manage relationships the manage relationships dialog box displays your relationship as a list instead of as a, a visual diagram so you can see over here this is the beauty of power bi that it automatically detect the relationship that is already been created so we have a relationship with the product table with manufacturer sentiment to the manufacturer and the sentiment product id to the product from the dialog box you can also auto detect to find relationships in new or updated data so if you have a new or updated data so from the auto detect you will have the updated view of your relationships from here from select edit you can select edit to manually edit your relationships here and from here you will find advanced options in the in the sections to set the cardinality and cross filter direction of your relationships let's discuss the concept of cardinality of the relationship when you create a relationship between two tables you got you get two values one which can be one or many on the two ends of a relationship between two tables so it is called a cardinality of the relationship your options for cardinality are explained in the following slides like many to one the most common default relationship this the column in one table can have more than one instance of a value the related table or lookup table has only one instance of a value and number second is one to one the column in one table has only only one instance of a particular value and the other related table has only one instance of a particular value generally we we come minimizing the use of bi-directional relationships they they can negatively impact model query performance and possibly deliver confusing experiences for your report users setting accurate relationships between your data allows you to create complex calculations across multiple data elements let's learn the cross filter direction typically it expect the relationship in both directions when filtering the tables to create appropriate view of data report creators and data modelers face challenges determining how to apply filters to a report previously the tables filter context was held on one side of the relationship but not the other this arrangement often required complex DAX formula to get the wanted results with the bi-directional cross filtering report creators and data modelers know now now have more control over how they can apply filters when working with related tables bi-directional cross filtering enables them to apply filters on both sides of a table relationship you can apply the filters by propagating the filters context to a second related table on the other side of a table relationship